Yes, sir. Hello, my name is Rick Hayes. I live on Owsley Road, and uh, there's an existing pipeline about a thousand yards south of me. It's the one built, I guess, back in the 50s. It goes across uh, a property owner who's a friend of mine. The new property, I mean the new pipeline, uh, originally was to go across his property, and obviously he is not happy about that. Very negative, and is fighting it to the best of his ability. Again, I hear. The, the need for us property owners to band together and, and work together as you know as a, as an entity as opposed to trying to fight this individually. None of us individually have the resources to fight such a project. Um, and I hate to say what I'm going to say, but it's the truth. Originally, when I heard that this pipeline was you know proposed to come through across the existing pipeline. Landowners, and I was saying, well, I guess you know it's, it's inevitable. It doesn't affect me. Um, a thousand yards away or better, it doesn't affect me. But it affects my friends, so therefore it affects me. Um, the most recent is the um, a draft, I suppose, of a slightly different uh, direction. Um, and Mr. Rogers, one of those property owners, and the pilot you were talking about lives directly across the road from me. As they were talking about coming across his property and his adjacent property owner, and to within about uh, 300 feet of where I sit every morning, sit my Mountain Dew and smoke my first cigarette out of the morning. Um, to uh, as an as an alternative. At this point, it started affecting me personally. Um, and then the Spectra folks, not Spectra folks, the Sable guy, came out and says, we need you to sign this form to allow the ge geological people to come on your property and examine for uh, Indian burial grounds and so on and so forth. So I said, well, that might be a way of hopefully finding a negative against them that they cannot come across my neighbor's property um, within about a hundred, like I said, a hundred feet of where I sit every morning and where I feed my horses. Um, instead of them coming on my property that morning with the geological survey, two individuals came on with electronic devices and GPS to further plot uh, where they were going to dig and place this pipeline. That immediately, in my book, was a bold-faced lie. Uh, that was the first time anybody associated with this had lied to me. You lied to me once. You're my mortal enemy forever. Um, if it was an accident or a mistake because you had faulty information and you came back to me and apologized, then you're my friend. But these people are now my enemy. And I will do as I can to help support any and everybody. My wife asked this gentleman who was standing on our front porch seeking that written permission for the geological people to come up. And she said, how far is this pipeline going to be from where we're standing? He pointed in that direction and he said, about a couple hundred feet. And she thought a second and I didn't say a word because I knew what she was contemplating. After all, she is my wife and we tend to think a lot alike. Uh, she asked the question, what happens if there is a leak and an explosion? His response to us without hesitation, was, you'll never know it. In other words, we will be vaporized. So therefore, anybody that has a pipeline, existing or new, has a leak, has an explosion, that's three or 400 feet from their house, where they happen to sit and drink their Mountain Dew, you will be vaporized. That is a very nice thought to go to bed to, to wake up to, to invite my grandkids to come over, 
and visit and ride the horses and so on. So I will do everything I can to help anybody and everybody, including the small, small guy to larger landowners like Mr. Rogers, to do what I can. Thank you.